Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Expo. Today is Saturday, May 13th, 2023. Time is 3.13 p.m. Yes, Jersey time. And may I say a warm, it's in the upper 70s and humidity's up. But I will take it over to cold weather. We're starting to get more warm days than cold days. We had mid 80s yesterday, so it's fantastic. All right, so we have... Uh, one of our local, one of my favorite local police departments where I, near where I live, that's Homedale Township Police Department. They are ground zero for stolen cars, houses being broken into, cars being burglarized also. So the other day, actually May 1st, Homedale PD put out another lecture telling us the citizens, the taxpayers in the community, how we should readjust our behavior because their policies are failing. But they're not gonna change, it's us, it's you, it's I. We have to change our behavior. So here's the story right there, I'm gonna read it to you. Uh, this is again May 1st, today during the early morning hours there were several resident, residential burglaries uh, attempts that occurred throughout the township. The incidents occurred in the Orchard Development of, off Laurel Avenue, Maple Leaf Drive in Centerville Road area, and Evitor Way and in Bell Works. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Homedale Township, it is a very well-to-do community. You're making at least six figures if you're living in that town. Probably more than six figures. During the course of one of these incidents, two motor vehicles were stolen. Although we believe residents are doing their best to secure their property, the Home Dell Police continue to urge residents to secure their homes and vehicles and set alarms if they have them. Please report all suspicious activity to the police department immediately. All right, let me read my response. In other words, well, here it is right there. That's my response right there, people. In other words, Homedell PD is failing its residents, six-figure salaries, best equipment and cars, and this is what the taxpayers get in return? I got your motor vehicle stop logs. Keep up the great work stopping cars and generating revenue for the anticipated court fines and revenue. Where were your cars at when this took place? Were they stationary or moving? You got GPS tracking in your cars. Make a video of the screen and show everyone what your cars are doing and post it. And of course we got a couple of responses so I'll read some of them. Uh, one person here, Karen Kandra, uh, she says, uh, just look at the Red Bank Police Department, worried more about people going over a double yellow line than thefts. So I guess she's pointing out the, the revenue nonsense. So let me get down here. Uh, so she uh, sent me a, a private message and basically just had to do with uh, she believes that Red Bank are road pirates. So I responded, motor vehicle stops generate revenue and the potential for arrest. Patrolling the neighborhoods of crime is boring and doesn't generate anything. Each town has its budget, anticipated court fines and revenue. That amount is figured into the budget, and guess who generates that money? Making arrests for motor vehicle stops is what the police use to boast about on Facebook. The fact of the matter is police don't stop crime. They can only deter, respond, and take a report after the fact. And I'm just going to really, uh, talk a little more about that. If you go and you watch the police departments, they look to, like to put out their little arrest blog of what they've been doing for that month. And if you look at the bulk of the, the arrests, the, most of them come out of motor vehicle stops. This is why motor vehicle stops is the priority for the police. Because one, they generate revenue. Each town, here in New Jersey anyway, has a budget. In that budget, they have anticipate, anticipated court fines revenue. And depending on the previous year, we'll kind of determine what the next year's uh, amount's going to be. I'll give an example. Homedale Township, pre-COVID, they anticipated $525,000 in court fines and revenue. They realized actually $533,000. And that goes into the budget to pay for 
the budget, pay for the, the town to operate. And believe me when I tell you, if, if those police did not stop those cars, generate that revenue with the tickets, didn't generate arrests with the, and, and cause court fines, uh, there'd be a big problem in the budget. The other thing that uh, it does is if you got a situation where the government, the local government is not making ends meet, they're a little short on cash, rather than raising your property tax, they will get the police to go out there and up, the, uh, up their activity on motor vehicle revenue enforcement. That's what they do, folks. Now, out of the motor vehicle stops, they get they you know they target certain cars and they they stop you, and people don't know their rights. They don't know how to deal with police. They're intimidated. They're scared. They're nervous. Whatever. And please figure out a way for you to give up your rights and get out of the car. And then they're going to go in there and try to escalate it into something. Maybe the passenger your car has a warrant, a, a failure to appear warrant. Most of these warrants that they get these people on are failure to appear, which probably has to do with them not paying a traffic ticket, some, some low-life bullshit that doesn't affect you or I. And this is what they do. So with the arrests, they can go on Facebook and they brag, oh, we stopped this car and uh, the passenger in the car gave up their ID and it turned out they had a warrant and we got another thief off the street or another uh, no-shower in court. Uh, 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 we got him. And what's ridiculous about the whole thing is, uh, all right, so say you didn't go to court that day and there's a bench warrant out and they catch you. Nothing's happening. They're going to take you down to headquarters, they're going to book you, and they're going to release you again. So it's pointless. It really is pointless. But it gives the officers bragging rights. They can say, oh, Officer Smith, you're doing a great job. Keep up the great work. And then the police, the, the chief gets up there and, and boasts about how he's getting all the crime off the street. Though the crime they're getting off the street is, is people coming through the town, not people in the town doing things. Now... The other thing is they have a big problem with cars being stolen. And I've said time and time again, I've been vocal about it. I'm not hiding behind my uh, hiding behind anything. They need to patrol the streets. They don't want to do. They don't want to go up and down little side streets five miles an hour. It's boring. It puts them to sleep. They don't want to do that. And it doesn't generate revenue. But what it does do is it shows a presence. So if you're somebody out there uh, staking out the neighborhood and you see a cop car every 15, 20 minutes coming around to go down a side street, you're going to think twice. But that's not what Homedell does. Homedell sits out on the highway, and you're going to see the video at the end here. They sit out there on the highway with their plate readers, with their radar. I've documented them sitting in the middle of the road with their plate reader. I've documented them parked on the side of the major highway to go through the town, parked on the side, on a sidewalk no less, sitting there with their plate reader and their radar, and that's what they do. I've, I've caught them sitting in a vacant uh, gas station parking lot, repair place, sitting there watching traffic go by because this is what the priority is. I don't blame the individual officers. I blame the brass. The brass sets the policies and tells them what to do. And as we all know, police are good order takers. They just follow orders blindly and do what they do, no matter how uh, disgusting it may be. But that's what goes on. That is the priority. The priority is not uh, keeping the neighborhood safe. And what they do here in this particular posting and others that Home Dell Township has put out is they blame you. They tell you you're not doing enough. You better lock your car. You better lock your house. You better do all these things. But if you come on there and you say, well, maybe you need to start doing this, I will get it because I've done it. I will get attacked by the blue, blue, blue goose swallowers. The balls deep on the blue Richards. They all attack me. Oh, the police can't be anywhere. No, they can't be everywhere, but they're not going to be anywhere if they're on the side of the road. And let me also point out, as I've said numerous times, every second they spend on the side of the road surveilling on motorists, stalking motorists, harassing and extorting from motorists is a second lost to patrol in the neighborhood. Now, I have something here. I didn't talk about it a while back, but I've had it for a little while now. This is the uh, 
I had done a uh, Oprah request. Actually, Matt Tim did it for me. We did an Oprah request of the Homedale Townships Motor Vehicle Stop Log. Now, what I have, and I'm going to get an updated one, but this, what I had is, uh, I think was, um, I think it was September, October, and November. It's, it's the three months. Yes, yeah, oh, August, September, October. So that's what I got. And it's very interesting because in August of 2022. Uh, I counted approximately 198 motor vehicle stops, uh, which averaged out to 49 and a half stops per week. In September, they uh, stopped approximately 155 cars. That's 38.75 stops per week. And then amazingly here, or noticeably, in October of 2022, they uh, conducted 372 motor vehicle stops that is 93 per week so they doubled or tripled the amount of stops so between August between September and August they doubled their motor vehicle stop more than doubled their motor vehicle stops which I find interesting so I guess some people went back are coming back home from vacation or whatever and uh, they just upped it all up so I also did a thing, uh, oh, in 2021, Homedale's anticipated court fines of revenue was $225,000. Now, you got to remember, this was COVID period, so they had cut it in half because police were not doing a whole lot of uh, motor vehicle stops. So out of the $225,000 they expected, they only generated $172,242. In 2022, they lowered it because it, the, the New Year is always based on the previous year. They anticipate 170000 and uh, I think that I don't think the 2022 budget is over, so i got to wait for the 2023 budget to get the actual amount. Homedale Police, I believe, has a $28 million budget. Uh, police salaries and wages are six. Point seven five million dollars. I mean, most of their officers over there are making th three uh, six-figure uh, salaries. Some of the newer ones are in the upper uh, 70s to 90,000. So that's what you're getting over there. And uh, but here it is. This is the 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 motor vehicle stop log that, that Matt Tim did in the open public records request. And we're going to get a new one to see what's going on. Because that, that the proof is right there as to what the priorities are, and you know, remember. So if you take uh, take this for August 198, September 155, October 372 stops. If uh, you add that all up together, and take that and multiply it times 15 minutes, because each motor vehicle stop is at least 15 minutes. That is how much time they took away from patrolling the neighborhood. Now, I know some people say, well, you know, uh, breaking a law with your car is against the law, and they got to enforce that. That is absolutely correct. I haven't, I personally really don't have a problem with police conducting motor vehicle stops while they're out patrolling. My big beef I have is that why should a town financially profit off of somebody's bad behavior? My, You know, when you're driving like a jerk, your liability is with the person that you hit, and it's shared with your insurance company. The town has no liability in this. So by profiting off of these tickets, it creates an atmosphere of, uh, what's the word, uh, hanky-panky is the best way I could, the words come to my mind right now, but it, 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 creates, it creates the wrong reason that they're, they're using the police to generate revenue and it takes the priorities away. So if the police really are protecting, which they are not, they're protecting the government and they're protecting their pension. And that's why they're called law enforcement, not protection enforcement. They are law enforcement. And if they really want to do all this protecting and serving the community like they keep telling us time and time again, then why is it so, why are they so resistant to patrolling the neighborhoods, going up and down the streets? I don't personally live in Homedale, but I'll tell you what, if I did, I would set a camera up in the window and I would just try to verify how many times a Homedale cop would go up and down the street. And I'll be willing, there's streets in that town that they never go up. They never go up and down it. There's not a whole lot of streets in Homedale, so 
don't cry to me that they don't have enough officers because they got to have at least four or five on duty at nighttime. You mean to tell me that each one in their zone can't go up and down that street at least uh, two to three times in a shift? And finally, I'll close it out with this. With this particular thing here where it happened in the wee hours, where were the police? What were they doing? I mean, if, it, if it's three, four, five o'clock in the morning, it's not like there's a whole lot of cars on the road. So if they're out there doing all this patrolling and protecting and serving, why didn't they see these cars? You know why, people? Because they're, they're not out there patrolling. And I've called them out. You know what? You got GPS in the car. Go take a video of uh, the computer screen and let's see what your cars are doing, what they're moving. You know, when these break-ins were happening, were they stationary? You probably, were they moving? Probably not. And when they were stationary, what were they doing? Probably sitting on Route 35, watching cars go by, sitting on Route 34, watching cars go by, because this is the priority, people. And it's not just limited to Homedale Township. It's, it, this applies to a lot of towns. I will say the town I live in, it's a small town, only about a square mile. It's, you know, it, it's not a rich town. And I don't see the police out there doing a whole lot of uh, harassing of motorists. I want to say if uh, Kingsburg Police is pulling the car over, it's probably a good reason they're pulling the car over. But I see, I see Kingsburg Police patrolling the neighborhoods all the time. So, thumbs up to uh, Kingsburg. I don't have anything bad to say about them in that in that uh, aspect but uh, Homedale you're out there lecturing us telling the citizens of your community who are paying you very well to protect and serve their neighborhood and you're not doing it all you're doing is lecturing and protecting and serving the town budget I'm John Van Dyke for New Jersey Exposed let me know what you think about this people till next time oh one uh, additional point here I wanted to add is uh, on April 13th Homedale Township Police Department had posted on their Facebook page. Here it is, right there. Let me read this real quick. On April 13th at 5 a.m., three subjects right open a garage window. Okay, so I locked my house, I locked my car door, and the thugs came along, and they pried open the window. So what am I supposed to do now? The subjects then entered the home and located keys for two high-end vehicles, which were then stolen. One of the vehicles was recovered in Irvington at 9 a.m., the suspects arrived in a silver small SUV, possibly a Mercedes or Audi, which fled the area with the stolen cars. Please report any suspicious vehicles or activity to the Home Dell Touch Police Department. So there you go. You have April 13th and May 1st, where the same crap is going on. And what is the solution? I haven't heard any solutions from Home Dell Township Police other than what we should be doing. Okay, so we're doing these things. What are you doing, Home Dell Township Police? Because I know what you're doing, because the video you're about to watch is not going to lie.